Natural remedies are all the rage, but do they really live up to the hype? That's the real question here. Coming up, Dr. Rose is going to join us live to separate fact from fiction. Well, from drinking apple cider vinegar to taking probiotics, we've all heard a lot about different natural remedies, and some of us actually have even tried them. But our next guest says some of those remedies don't really live up to all the hype. Joining us now live to help us figure it all out. Do they really do that? Our go-to nutrition coach, Dr. Rowe. It's good to see you. It's always great to see you. And we do have to say it's a big day for you because... The audio version of your book is out? Yes! <laughs> I am ecstatic that you can take me with you wherever you go on your devices and get my inspiration and motivation and to help you to get through your journey using the book. The book is the Lose Your Final 15, but it's really uh, just a whole lifestyle book that yes. really will help you be happier and healthier. Now you're helping us figure out all these natural things that people say are going to change our lives. Yeah. And we're not sure if they really do. Starting with apple cider vinegar. Yeah, people think apple cider vinegar is really like a panacea. Like they think it cures everything from cancer to, really? you know, to, it, to lower your blood pressure. Yeah, many people drink apple cider vinegar. A lot of people start their morning with it in, with a couple tablespoons spoons in some warm water. But what you need to know is that al apple cider vinegar, though it's pretty harmless, mm -hmm. uh, it, it may not do everything that you think. For example, it doesn't really lower your blood pressure. Might help to lower your blood sugar, though. Okay. If you happen to be a type 2 diabetic. If you're a type 1 diabetic, meaning you are insulin dependent, you should check with your doctor before drinking apple cider vinegar because it really does interact with insulin. Oh, okay. Yes, interacts with your insulin, also interacts with, um, you know, heart disease medications, like heart, or people who are on heart, heart arrhythmias. Kind of like when people that take the heart medicines can't eat grapefruit? Yeah, that what it thing? does is it really does lower your body's potassium. That's a real issue. Okay. And so it, your potassium level could become dangerously low, and so you just don't want to overuse this, this, um, uh, your apple cider vinegar if you are on digoxin, if you're on insulin, or if you're on um, diuretics, which are people refer to as water pills. Right, right. Okay, let's talk about silver. Let's talk about it. I mean, I just <laughs> use it as an accessory, but I don't... <laughs> yeah, which is where it belongs. Right? It belongs on the skin, not mm -hmm. in your body. Okay. Silver is a metal. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a mineral, actually, but it's not an essential mineral to the body, so it has absolutely no nutritional value, not necessarily good for your health, and used in very large amounts, uh, colloidal silver can cause your skin to become blue. Oh It'll goodness. have a bluish... even get started that that's good for you, then? Well, because people who are in... And, um, interested in homeopathic remedies mm. and natural remedies, what might venture into um, they just you, say let's try silver things. and see what it yeah, does. Yeah, and not only that, it's mar no because it's heavily marketed. I see. It's gotcha. heavily, you know, so the colloidal silver was supposed to be used for burns, cuts, mm -hmm. scrapes. It's used to 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 um, treat wounds and dressings. So it's good for the skin. Again, on your skin, not, not in, in your, your body. body. Has okay. no value. Carbonated water. Yeah, so they think carbonated water. Everybody thinks, ca many people think carbonated water is like the, the panacea mm -hmm. of waters. But what you should know is that if you have in, um, IBS, like, um, it's, uh, like, bowel intestinal tract issues, issues yeah. yeah irritable bowel worse. syndrome I had a brain fart it, okay. uh, irritable bowel, uh, bowel syndrome it can cause it can cause gas and bloating and the other thing is you don't want to have carbonated water you don't want to fill up on this after a workout oh, really? because yeah and the reason is because it does really fill you up uh, but the thing you want after a workout is plain water so leave your fizzy water for your white wine spritzer yeah, there you go and let's go with plain water after the workout happy hour. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about charcoal because that does seem to be all the rage. Yeah, people are using it in drinks, so they put it in juices, they put it in shakes, and they're using it in drinks. This is what it looks like. Can you get a good shot of that? Because it is really messy to work with. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, if I drop some of this, it would be a mess to clean up. The thing is, it really doesn't do what people think it does. So, car uh, um, uh, charcoal was really um, taken internally. If you ha happen to have been poisoned, like, if you happen to, to get a hold of some poison, and you go to the emergency room, they'll give you charcoal. The reason is because the charcoal charcoal will trap the poison so that you can eliminate it. I got you. Right? Yeah. But the thing is, putting it in shakes after you've been out on a binge drinking wisdom um, <laughs> is not going to trap 
alcohol. So it right, does right. not trap alcohol. It only traps poisons. And really, it really doesn't have much of a benefit all beyond right. that point. Well, thank you very much for sorting it all out. As always, we appreciate your knowledge and insight. And she will continue to sort things out for you in her book, Lose Your Final 15, which you can get, uh, you know, where books are available. Or now the audio version. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and sign up for the challenge. Sign up for the, the 15 million pound challenge. I'm giving away the e-course for free to go with the book when you do. Make sure you sign up for the 15 million pound challenge. Everythingroad.com. We gotta go. Thank you. <laughs>